Have you ever wanted IFPS or low delay without spending a penny? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best guide on how to get both of those without spending a single dime. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be optimizing is our Fortnite settings. For the first setting, I recommend either having it on full screen or Windows full screen. Full screen usually gives less delay but less FPS, while Windows full screen allows you to tab out, gives more FPS but more delay. But there is a way to reduce the delay on Windows full screen, which is why I recommend everybody have this on. If you're on full screen, you want a resolution to be on your monitors, but if you're on Windows full screen, you can't change the setting. VSync off, your frame rate limit should be the same as your monitors refreshing in rendering mode they added a new mode called performance the other one is now called legacy performance i haven't actually tested any benchmarks on this yet but i just have it on just because it's a new mode these next five settings don't matter next setting is 3d resolution i would recommend having it between 70 percent or 100 because if it's anywhere below 70 percent it's literally unplayable dynamic 3d resolution off this is another new setting but i would just recommend having it off view distance on either far or medium you barely notice any type of fps difference it just allows you to see items from further textures well meshes well and for the less delay on your monitor nvidia reflex low latency you you want to have this on on and for the last setting in this tab you want report performance stats disabled next you want to go into the game tab scroll down and you're gonna see peripheral lighting and you just want to turn this off you also want to turn off this nvidia highlight if you don't use it then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna see replays you want to make sure all of these are off and then you just want to click apply and back out next what you want to do is you want to optimize your game user settings you want to go to the search bar, you just want to type run. You want to click on this and it should pop up with this right here. You want to type percent local app data percent and then click enter. It should bring you here, you just want to click on any of these files and then click F. And it should bring you to Fortnite game. You want to double click on this save config windows client and you're going to see game user settings. You want to right click, click properties and make sure read only is not on. Then you want to just click OK and double click on this. This is all your Fortnite game user settings. And what you first want to do is you want to click critical F and you want to search show grass and then you want to click enter. It should highlight the part and you want to make sure this is on false. You also want to make sure motion blur is on false. Then you want to scroll down and you're going to see DLSS quality and you're going to see XESS quality. And you want to make sure both of these are on zero. Next you want to search up desire global illumination quality and you're going to put this on zero. Same with this desire reflection quality. You want to have pre name night global illumination quality set to zero as well. After that you want to click file and then you want to click save. After you save you can just exit out. Next thing we're going to do is some basic settings. So what you want to do first is you want to search up settings. It should bring you here and you want to search up game. And it should bring up game mode settings. And make sure game mode is on. Then you want to go into graphics and you're going to make sure optimizations for Windows game is turned on. Only if you decide to turn on Windows full screen. Then you want to click on this advanced graphics settings. You want to make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. If you don't see this option is perfectly fine. Then you want to scroll down and you want to click add desktop app. You then want to go to local disk, program files. You want to click on any of these files, click E, click Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and it should be in this file. You want to select the Fortnite client Win64 shipping.exe and you want to just click add. After you edit, it should be here. You just want to click on the drop down. You're going to see GPU preference and if you have one, you want to make sure this is on your GPU, not power saving or let Windows decide. If you decide to put Windows full screen, you want to make sure optimizations for Windows game is on. And then after that, you just want to exit out. And the next thing you want to do is you want to join my Discord link in the description. You want to scroll down and you're going to see free tweaks. And then you're going to see video resources. You want to click on video resources. And you're going to see disable unnecessary task. You just want to download this. If you want to see what this disables, you just want to right click and edit with Notepad. I'm using Notepad++, so it's a little bit different. But you're going to be able to see everything that it disables. It disables over 15 unnecessary tasks. I'll just exit out and run this as administrator. It should automatically do the tweaks and instantly close. After that, you just want to restart your PC. Okay, so after we do the tweaks, we're getting around a thousand FPS 